little bit more twisting and I have just tested your understanding of this session and I have given to find two variable for one question. Finding one variable, it is easy, just follow the pattern, find it. If I am giving to find the two variable in one question, means certainly we have to give little bit more information. Just idea, hint of the information. Just we'll look here. This is one uh, rectangle I given where five numbers are given at the corner. 2, 4, 5, 5. At the center it is given 4. 4, 5, 10, 5. 7, 12, this is 6. Here it is. One thing by clear cut we can say x may be next number it is 7 or 8 or 9. It cannot go beyond that. It cannot go beyond that. But how it is coming 6, 5 or 4, based on that we can predict it will come 7, 8 or 9, that only we have to think. Find the value of x and y if y is less than 15 plus 15. Which 15 plus 15? This 15 and 15. Means y must be less than 30. Means maximum you can put y 30, then what is happening? Below that, which number or which value of y will satisfy the given condition or given pattern of this question, that will be your correct answer. And according to that value of y, what is the value of x, we will get the value of x and y both. Just we will try to check how it is interrelated to each other. Like here, 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 5, one thing is sure, it must be related to addition, division or addition or maximum we can say it is a subtraction but addition and subtraction just to look here all are single digit number and we are getting almost this equal to this number second highest number second not second highest number second smallest number is almost near to a smallest number last questions last to last question we have seen if same kind of number pattern as represented on triangles center number was coming to nearest to the smallest number. Here it is not nearest, it is coming to the almost near to the smallest number or second smallest number. Then just we will try to think how to do if we are adding then after adding we are getting any clue or not. 2 plus 4 it is 6, 6 plus 5 plus 5 it is 16, just we will hold it, second number we will add, 4 plus 5, 10 plus 6. It is coming 9, 6, 15, it is coming 25. Any clue you are getting? Something. Third, 7 plus 12 plus 6 plus 11, it is 36. Now I think very clear we are following the pattern of perfect square number. We are following the pattern of perfect square number. Means center number, it is 4 square, 5 square, 6 square. Then here, just we will add all the number and we will check which is the best possibility. Here 2 plus this is 4 square, 5 square, 6 square and here 20 plus 15 plus y plus 15 equal to x square. This we got, this will give the easiness to solve this question. 50 plus y equal to x square. Now x can be perfect square then 50 plus nearest number is 14 that will give the 64 that is 8 square. Next number 50 plus 31 that is giving 81 that is 9 square but 31 is not valid because in condition of the question it is given y must be less than 30. y cannot cross 30. If y is not crossing 30 means only one possibility we have y must be equal to 14 and accordingly x will equal to 8 and value of x and y will equal to x equal to 8 and y equal to 